Hello, welcome to this um, video. Today, I'm going to uh, give you a quick walkthrough of how you can install an email reader in Google. So what's the use case here? What's the problem? The problem is that usually either um, as a business owner or as someone that is busy, sometimes you want just help to read your emails um, as you probably might be either doing something or not necessarily at your desk, but you want to catch up with some emails. One of the ways to do that is to install uh, an AI email reader, which usually is of the model text to speech or text to voice, uh, the kind of thing, but is able to read your emails. So the main platform today I'm gonna to talk about is Google. There's some others and I'll just share those uh, below in the notes for Microsoft, which is another big platform that is used. And the app there is usually is called Read Aloud for Microsoft. The one here we're, I'm gonna share in Google is called Natural Reader. It um, has been used by several people. It comes very highly recommended. I've tested it out myself and it works well. Okay, so let's dive in. The thing about this um, this particular um, app is actually an extension. Uh, it's different from an app. An app usually is one of those uh, systems or uh, a kind of um, uh, an app that is going to be added to another application that will extend maybe the uses of it. In this case, for Google, it would be something like that's gonna get integrated, let's say with either Excel, Word or PowerPoint, those kinds of things. The extension is different in that it's a bit more um, involved where it actually integrates on a platform and is able to also it give more capabilities, okay? So the difference here is that when you go to an extension, you're going to go to the Google or the Chrome web store versus an app where you may have to go into the Google Workplace. So I'll, I'll just show you, um, for example, here, if this is my email, you go to the Google for, you know, those who use Google, you go to where the apps are, which is usually this uh, circle. As you see that, that means there are apps under that. You scroll to the very bottom here, it will say uh, more from your, Google Workplace Marketplace. So a marketplace is where people have created different apps, as you hear, see here, that are going to work in conjunction with whatever Google provides. So in this case, I'd say Excel, but in this case, it would be Sheets, uh, Word Do uh, sorry, Google Doc and Slides, okay? However, what I'm going to talk to you about today is the web store. So if we go there, excuse me, I'm trying to find the one that I haven't used. You can Google Web Store, sorry, Chrome. It's called Chrome Web Store, as you see there. Um, you hit that and then it will be this first option. Click on that. Also, the other thing you can see here, what the URL for it is, it's chromewebstore.google.com. So if you know it or you can just store it somewhere, that is also okay. Um, Otherwise, you can just Google Chrome Web Store and you get to it, okay? And then here is where you have your search field. You search for the extension that we're going to use. In this case, the extension is called Natural Reader, Natural Reader. So I'm gonna just type that in because I've, I've already brought it up. It's going to be the first one here. As you see, Natural Reader, one word, AI text to speech extension, okay? Now, the other thing I just want to show here, okay? Uh, let me bring up Chrome. Um, there is, you find that there's also another one here. As I was searching for natural, it sh there's another one, excuse me, natural. There's another one here that shows up, which is read box. If you click on that, you find that it has very few readers, sorry, very few users that have used it. So. Um, the rating is 4.7, 4.7, and the users, it says is a 1,000. 
Um, as you see here, it shows that because I haven't added it, I only want one, it will say add to Chrome, okay? However, here, the one I'm using is Natural Reader. Okay, it has a lot more users, over 600. You know, they'll be getting to a million soon. And also the ra ratings are more, uh, 1.6K, which is over a thousand ratings. Um, it's at 4.2, but for me, it's not bad really, okay? Anyway, um, when you get there and you get it, click on the Natural Reader extension. And here, what you'll have will be a button that says Add to Chrome. It will be similar to that, Add to Chrome, okay? Uh, however, I already have it here. So that's why it says Remove from Chrome. So when you click on the button here that has that Add to Chrome, it's going to be, it's going to be very quick. It will be added to your uh, Google uh, Gmail um, application in this case. And so what it will look like is um, here it already opened up an email. You know, it's already open. And what it will look like, it's this one. It's gonna be like a little microphone here. Um, so whenever you're ready to actually have it read for you the email, you click on it, okay? And then it will take a little minute and I'm gonna hear just, okay, there we go. <laughs> so I've expanded it because I just wanna talk about a few things here, okay? First things first. So when you see this, uh, these little dots here uh, in like a square, that means that you can move that little pop-up or screen or anything out of the way, you move it to where you want. But as you can see here, Google doesn't allow it to go above into the top menu or the URL field or anything like that. So you have to move it, excuse me, sorry. You have to move it, uh, you have to move it within this area, okay? It can't go above over there where the menu is. The other thing is that, when you click on it, do you see that? Here actually I'm hovering over the little icon. It's um, a gen, 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 AI, gen AI, generated avatar of a woman. Uh, it's just a random um, generated AI. But if you click on that, it says change. What that does is that you can come here and choose the voices you want. Also it's in different um, languages. Okay, so these are all the languages it uses that have been it's been trained on, um, which is good. So in this case, um, it's English, and so you can choose which part of the world you know the English you want to be read. So for me, I'm in the U.S. I'll choose English U.S. Okay, and then the other thing is that you can choose which here which voices you want it to be. Each voice has a different tonation, has a different uh, way it's read. And also, um, so there's tone, there is uh, style that it will be read. And so you can choose according to that. There's also male, then also female. So again, that gives you lots of uh, options that you can choose from, okay? All right. Now here, I just chose the first one. Really, I didn't try to look up which one. I really, in my case, I don't really care much. Uh, but in any case, if I need to change it, I can change to any of these, okay? Should anyone want to do that? As you can see, it has some premium voices here. Um, I haven't tested them because I'm using the free version and that's why I'm sharing this. This is free for the most part. Um, unless if you use it, overuse it, because these use tokens behind the scenes, you may probably, if you use it a lot, you may at some point probably be asked to either upgrade or maybe that you've used up your tokens for the week or something like that, or the day, all right? Um, but anyway, there's so many here that you can use. The other thing you can do also, you can speed up, because uh, this is the usual speed, but if you want, you can also speed up um, how fast you want these emails to be read, all right? So that's another option. And um, 
And the other thing you can search for voices if you know what voices they are. Maybe you can say male um, or female, here you see, or you can say, see it says Google. So this means that it's Google generated or something like that. So you can say female, or oh, it's used as female. Okay, let's say female. Um, female here, it's gonna use, I don't know, it chooses uh, UK English female, but anyway, you can search there um, with this magnifying glass, as you know, it usually means search. So you X out of that menu to choose those. Um, again, if you're ready to have it read for you, you click on this go button. And one thing maybe I want to highlight is that you see here that it highlights what it's going to read. Okay. So it goes up here. This, I think it does two or so sentences at a time. Okay. All right. The other thing uh, I want to just talk about here is um, here it minimizes. So that's why you see it's very small. Um, here you maximize that little window. The other thing is if you want to switch this off without un uninstalling the extension, you can click on this button here. That's the on and off button. I think it's pretty standard. We know that. Um, if you want to go to settings here, you can go and change all kinds of settings that you may want. Um, what happened here, this came by default, highlight to read. If you don't want it to be highlighted, again, you also have that option, okay? You toggle between that, but I want it highlighted, so I'm okay with that. Okay. Show icons only when the text when the text goes over uh, 20 characters. You can choose the number of characters you want here. Okay. So for me, this is the default. That's all it was. Um, I think what that means that it can help to just show you where it is. Okay. Um, that's what that is. Anyway, so you can go, you click on the back arrow here and go back to your menu and then you continue. Again, as you can see here, you may prompt it to read maybe a PDF. Uh, there's no PDF, by the way. Uh, if you want, you can open them here, as you see. Um, so there's no PDF. Hence, I'm going to go back to where we were. Um, if I click X out of that. Okay. All right, where's my email? Excuse me, where's my email? Let's see, here's my email. Okay, back to that. Um, oh, let's stop. MP3 is audio, um, so you can have it read for you, audio, um, that kind of thing. Uh, and then here it's mobile. It can also be added to mobile. Um, and then here is the rest of all the other, you know, menu items that you may want to, you know, to, uh, what is it? That you may want to be, to set up. One of the things you click to read is that if you don't want, you can have it that, <laughs> you don't have to click it to read, but perhaps that if you open the email, it will start reading it immediately. Okay, I prefer to click it to read for me. Okay, so those are the menu item. The other thing here is um, here it will be in a format, as you see here, like a book. It may give you the format of where it's reading like a book or that kind of thing versus the style that you have it in your email, if that's what you want. But I want it to stay in the email that it has. Uh, if you see that, it's it's hiding really the rest of everything that's behind. So it will just read what you have here, okay? Um, if you see that. All right, so that is how you do that. I hope this is helpful. You can add this extension to your emails and it can be helpful in saving you time or in different ways. Either you could be actually listening to the emails being read as you're finishing up something, or you could be walking, you could be working, taking a break and that kind of thing for your email catch up and you just want it read to you as maybe let's say you're taking a walk outside, okay? Instead of having the phone in your, or your mobile phone in your face and you're trying to read it. So that's the use case. I hope this is helpful and um, that you know you can you can install this reader
Thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and uh, let me know for sure.